Hello, kindergarten and first grade. Mrs. Thompson here. Uh, for this week, we are going to read the book Sky Color by Peter Reynolds. Great book about Marisol, who's a little artist. And then we're going to draw and color a seascape. A seascape is a picture of water. It could be the ocean, it could be a river, it could be a lake. Um, in this case, it's the ocean. And we're drawing some boats on the ocean. And we're trying, just like in the book Sky Color, you're going to see she didn't use blue for the sky because she didn't have any blue. So we are not going to use any blue in our sky. Okay? We are in the water, but not in the sky. So let's read the book and then we will get to work. Okay, so we're going to start out drawing the waves of the ocean. Now, a seascape is very much like a landscape, except instead of land, it's water. And it could be the ocean, it could be a river, it could be a lake, it could be any body of water. What we're doing is the ocean, and we're going to do some kind of choppy waves that go up and down. Okay, so watch Miss Thompson first. I'm I have a dark blue and a light blue, so I'm actually going to switch back and forth between the two of them. But if you only have one blue, no worries. It's no big deal at all. And first, as always, I'm going to practice with my finger. It's going to be kind of close to the bottom of the paper, and it's going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. So watch Miss Thompson first. Okay, just like that. All right, now hit pause, and you can do yours. Okay, now, before we draw any more waves, we're actually going to draw a boat. Now, the boats, the bottom of them are kind of like a smile. See how I'm practicing with my finger? And you can practice too, so you kind of know where you want it and you know how big you want it. And it's going to be covered up or overlapped by this wave just a little. So let me show you what I mean. See what I did there? Just behind that just a little. And then I can draw a line that goes all the way across. And that is going to be my boat. Now I know it looks kind of funny right now because we don't have the rest of our waves, but bear with me. And then we need to draw the sails of the boat. They look like triangles. Okay? So go ahead and do that. Hit pause if you need to. And now we're going to do more waves. I switched to my light blue. And these waves are going to go behind this boat a little bit. I'm not going to draw on top of my boat. In fact, let me start over here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I'm doing the same kind of line, but where I get to my boat, I'm going to pick it up and then I'll pick up over here. All right? So don't draw through your boat. You just kind of pretend like you did and then you finish your wavy line. All right? Now hit pause and draw yours. Okay, now we're going to draw another boat. I'm using orange, but you can use any color. And I'm going to practice again. It's going to be a smile line right here, and it's going to be overlapped by these waves just a little. That means it's covering it up. And this boat is going to be smaller than this boat, okay? So watch Miss Thompson first. See how I did that? And it's just barely covered up by that. And then I'm going to do the sails. All right, so hit pause and do yours. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the dark blue and I'm going to do more waves. And again, I don't draw on top of my boats. I go behind them like that. Okay, and now you can see how choppy that water is. Those boats are kind of woo. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do one last boat. I'm going to make this one green. You can make it any color you want. 
and this one's going to be even smaller than this one because it's farther away. It's a little smile line and it's going to be covered up just a little by that wave. So I have my sails and again be sure you draw it smaller okay so hit pause and draw that last boat okay and then we're going to draw one last row of wavy lines again don't draw on top of any of the boats kind of messed up there a little bit didn't I but remember we're not going to get stressed out about that in fact See how that line's a little thicker because I did mess up? I actually really like the way that looks. So I'm going to go back and add a little bit of that here and there. I think it looks neat. Sometimes mistakes turn into something really neat. So if you want to do what I'm doing, you can. Or you can just hang tight for a minute. And next we're going to do the after we're done with our little waves here. And we will color the boats too, so don't worry about that. Okay, so now the sky, there's really not a whole lot we need to do to it. Um, we do need to put a few clouds in the sky because it's obviously a very windy day. Now notice how I'm drawing my clouds. I'm drawing them differently than we've done before. I'm holding my marker really, really loose, meaning I'm not holding onto it tight, but I'm obviously not dropping my marker either, and I'm just doing kind of some choppy, really crooked lines of clouds, because that's the way the clouds look on more of a windy, stormy day, okay? And then we're going to color. I'm going to color my boats with markers, so that they stand out. And I'm gonna color everything else with crayon. Now you can color your boats any way you want them to look. Anything goes, okay? Um, but I'm going to fast forward to finish my coloring and then you can hit pause and color yours. Okay, so here it is finished. Now I want you to notice a few things. I want you to notice that number one, I used two different blues when I colored the water and I switched them back and forth. Obviously I used crayons for that. If you have more than one blue, I recommend you do that. If you only have one blue again, it's okay. Um, oh, I just realized something. I forgot to color that poor boat. It's probably feeling all left out and sad. But again, as you can see, I colored my boats with marker because that's what I want the people looking at my picture. I want them to notice my boats right away, okay? And then notice my sky. Remember in the book Sky Color, Marisol didn't have a blue sky. So I made my sky look like a sunset. Basically, it's just stripes. I did yellow, orange, red, and then red violet. And you can do that too, It's you just color and stripes. Super duper easy. Just be sure you color soft and color in one direction. And then notice I didn't leave my clouds white. I made them gray because it's a windy day. Maybe a storm's rolling in that's going to happen overnight. Okay? So um, now keep in mind you don't have to color yours exactly like Miss Thompson's. You can color it any way you want. These are just some things I wanted to show you, some ideas and possibilities. Um, and like I always say, if you want me to put it in the virtual art show, be sure you either email it to me or upload it on that form on my website. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye.